<laughs> okay, for all you doctors and technicians wondering how you can irradiate more southern flying squirrels in one shot, this is your answer. It's easy. It's one, two, three. Aptly named Oscar, Bandit, and Felix. There's Felix right there. Hey, Felix, what are you doing, dude? There's one in here, too. Hey, and one in here. Oh, wow. Half price radiation sale. Okay, what makes this case so funny is, uh, one, I didn't know that there were some licensed breeders of southern flying squirrels, but they tell me there is. I'll just leave that alone. I wouldn't have proper paperwork if I saw it anyway. Um, two, uh, about two years ago, one of these squirrels was in for metabolic bone disease. One of the things that uh, we tend to forget or take for granted is that even though these guys are pretty much nocturnal, they still need a little bit of sunshine and UVB radiation to maintain their vitamin D3 and, and keep their bones pretty healthy. Anyway, so with that in mind, uh, they had actually gotten two more and somehow managed to, you know, get kind of curious and they wanted to know how the first one had healed and uh, if they were having any of the same problems with the other two. So uh, I came up with this ingenious way to irradiate more squirrels with one shot just to get this done and it was just basically an experiment to see uh, and be able to compare them. So anyway, one of these squirrels actually has some uh, previous pathologic fractures, which, uh, which you should actually be able to spot. Um, seeing as how I'm talking to the video, I really can't see these pictures too well, so I'll have to let you figure those out on your own. But anyway, this was kind of a cool case. It's obviously still ongoing, but uh, these guys are cute. They were really fun to work with. All right, that's it for now. Lesson, oh, and another thing, uh, a thousand and one uses for a Crown Royal bag. <laughs> I don't even drink this stuff, but I got to appreciate that bag. All right, later.